Hi everyone, this is Symphonic Elk. Uh, welcome to my third comic book haul ever and my first comic book haul for 2018. I hope everyone had a great holiday, whether that's Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Uh, over the past two weeks or so, I've been visiting family in uh, Philadelphia as well as South Georgia, and I've had a chance to go to a number of comic book shops, and I've picked up some pretty good stuff. Uh, this will be one of the longest videos I've done and I will try to go by uh, as quickly as possible um, so hopefully this won't be too long but anyway so one of the first things that I picked up is as if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I collect Matina, Delato, Campbell, Hughes you know all of the big uh, cover artists and so I picked up a number of their issues and so we'll start with a number of Delato issues so we have uh, the, the Miracle Man Annual uh, Morbius number one, Fantastic Four number 600, Moon Knight 29, and finally Moon Knight 30. Then we have a number of Matina variants. Uh, so we have uh, Nova number one, which is a 1 in 50 variant from Matina. We have Spider Man 2099 at number four. Windpool 14, uh, all new Wolverine number 18, and if you've seen, I had Edge of the Venom verse 1 through 4 in my last video, and this is number 5. Also picked up a couple of J. Scott Campbell covers. Uh, I already had The Amazing Spider-Man 51 and 52, but I found them for $2 a piece, so I figured they were worth picking up again. And I also picked up Spider Gwen number seven, which also has a J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, continuing with the cover theme, I have some March covers uh, Gotham City Sirens number three, number nine, number 14, number 15, number 26. Catwoman 13 is actually a J. Scott Campbell cover. I must have put this out of order. Had a Power Girl number four, which is a 1 in 25 variant. A Red Hood, <clears throat> excuse me, Red Hood in the Outlaws number 17. Uh, Justice League number 30. I got some Jock covers. Uh, New Avengers number one, this is the first printing. Uh, the blue cover is the second printing. We got uh, Batman 649 and Batman Annual number 25 and Grayson number one. I also picked up some art germ covers. Uh, this is Warhammer Forge of War number five. Uh, it's an art cover, and it's also the first cover of his uh, in comics. I got Superboy number four, uh, Detective Comics number 12, Batman number 28, Birds of Prey number seven, and number nine, Fallout Ironworks number five, which I don't know much about this comic, but I think it has something to do with Fallout Boy. And I also picked up a large number of Adam Hughes covers. <coughs> so I'll go through these kind of quickly. Uh, Catwoman, number 44. Number 52. Number 54. Number 56. 59. 60. 62. 63. 66, 67, 69, 71, 75, 79, 80, 82, 
I got all of those for between two and three dollars a piece. I uh, got the cover that came out, I think, through the day, the week before Christmas. Uh, that enemy's cover for Hellboy. Uh, Supergirl number one. Legionnaires number seven. Uh, Wonder Woman 143. Wonder Woman 154. And Wonder Woman 195. Now I'll go through some of the DC titles I got. Uh, so I picked up New Gods number one. It's the first appearance of Orion, Metron, High Father, and Kalabok, and it's also an early appearance of Darkseid. I picked up uh, Batman number 190. Um, it's a classic cover by Carmine Infantino, Infantino, excuse me, maybe I'm mispronouncing that. Um, I really enjoy the cover. I like the uh, all of the different uh, weapons that the Penguin has has built. It always interests me that uh, he's able to fight against Batman given his stature. I picked up Batman number 197. It's a classic cover um, and a cover appearance by Batgirl and Catwoman. They're fighting each other. I picked up uh, Batman 235. It's the second appearance of Ra's al Ghul. Uh, I picked up all four issues of Frank Miller's Year One, uh, Batman 404, 405, 406, and 407. So I also picked up all Star Comics. Um, Number 59. It's the second appearance of Power Girl. I picked up Action Comics number 544. It's the first appearance of Lex Luthor's Warsuit, and it's one of my favorite um, DC characters. I love the Warsuit. Uh, I had the toy of it in the 80s, and it's always one of my favorites. I picked up uh, Metal Number 1, the Fried Pie Virgin variant. To be honest, I didn't even know that this existed, but while I was in South Georgia, I stopped by Books A Million and saw it, <laughs> figured why not. I also picked up Shazam number 28, which is the first appearance of Black Adam since the Golden Age. I picked up a very, 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 very rough copy of Strange Adventures 205, the first appearance of Deadman. Um, it's in terrible shape. Uh, it's got new staples in it. It's flaking everywhere. The staples are coming out, uh, but I picked it up for near nearly nothing, so I figured it was worth a shot. Picked up Supergirl 53, which is the first appearance of Bizarro Girl. Uh, not a DC title, but I picked up the Wally Christmas variant. That's one in ten. I saw this in ComicInvest.com. I'm a big fan of Wally. I think he's pretty awesome. And so I like this, and, and I went out and found it. I picked up a blip number one. Uh, this is the February 1983 issue, and it's notable for it being the first appearance of Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers uh, in comic books. And then I picked up Flaming Carrot Comics number 16, um, and this is the first appearance of the Mystery Men. And I kind of enjoyed the movie when it came out and found it a good price so I figured why not. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the Free Comic Book Day Civil War 2 issue. Uh, this was actually a throw in from one of my eBay purchases. Someone, uh, one of the sellers sent it with me. Or with one of the comics that I bought, thought, well, it was really nice of them. So, anyway, I put this up here. It's the first appearance of Nadia Pym, who's the new Wasp, and also the first appearance of Ulysses K. I uh, picked up Guardians of the Galaxy number 146, the Grandma variant. It's 125. Um, 
picked up Avenging Spider-Man number nine. Uh, it's the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. Picked up Spider-Man Adventures number 10. It's the first appearance of Venom in the cartoon universe. I picked up the R-Germ SDCC KRS variant. I think this is one of my favorite uh, variants for I think it's Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Really enjoy the cover. Looks great. <coughs> I picked up two copies of Amazing Spider-Man 793, the Stegman variant. Again, this is just one of those things where I found them both uh, pretty cheap, so I picked them up. I got a pretty rough copy of Amazing Spider-Man 101. That's the first appearance of Morbius. Um, again, you can see there's some spine roll and whatnot, but for the price that I got it at, totally worth it. I picked up Strange Tales number 151. Uh, this is important because it's the first artwork at Marvel by Jim Steranko. Picked up Doctor Strange number 169, and this is the first Doctor Strange in his own title, and also a really great cover. I picked up Uncanny X Men number 8. This is the first appearance of Unis the Untouchable. I picked up 90 X, Uncanny X-Men number 95, this is the Death of Thunderbird, the third appearance of Nightcrawler, and the first time that Banff sound was used um, when he teleports. I picked up number 107, it's the first team appearance of the Star Jammers, it's the debut, debut of the new Wolverine costume, and uh, the first team appearance of Shi'ar Imperial Guard. I picked up Uncanny X-Men 194, um, it's the first team appearance of Andrea and Andrea Strucker. Picked up number 200, and this is where Magneto becomes the headmaster of Xavier's Academy. Picked up Transformers number 10, it's the first appearance of Devastator, one of my favorite Transformers. I don't really think the cover does him justice. Uh, picked up the first uh, issue of Deadpool, the 97 series, and it's the first appearance of Blind Owl, Patch, and T-Ray. Alright, continuing on, let's see, I picked up Avengers number 196. It's the first appearance of the Taskmaster. 264, it's the first appearance of the second Yellow Jacket, who is Rita Damara. I picked up Avengers number 93, and it's a classic cover by Neil Adams. Picked up number 28, which is the first appearance of the Collector and Goliath. Picked up number 9, unfortunately not a great copy of it, which is the first appearance of Wonder Man. Uh, I picked up Mighty Thor number 193. Uh, it's a classic battle. Uh, Silver Surfer versus the Thor. Or versus Thor, excuse me. Picked up Wolverine number 80. And this is where there is a test tube of one of Wolverine's DNA. <coughs> and it's thought to be X23. Picked up Exiles number 86, the first appearance of a Weapon H hybrid. Yeah, if you remember, this is where Exiles fight a bunch of different Wolverine-type hybrids. I picked up Punisher War Journal number 20, which is the first appearance of Lady Gorion. Picked up the Punisher number 32, which is the first Barracuda cover. 31 is the actual first appearance of Barracuda. Picked up two magazine format ones. So this is Comic Features number 20 by NMP and it is one of the early appearances of the New Mutants. I picked up Marvel Preview number 2. Uh, again, a very early appearance of the Punisher, not the first appearance. Um, it is, I think, the first origin and is the first appearance of Dominic Fortune. Now into some of the, the bigger titles I picked up. 
So I picked up DC Comics Prison Superman and Green Lantern number 26. Uh, this is most notable for <coughs> this part. It's the first appearance of the new Teen Titans and also the first appearance of Raven, Cyborg, and Starfire. Picked up Uncanny X-Men 101. Uh, it's the first appearance of Jean Grey. That's when she was overtaken by the Phoenix Force. So obviously not the first appearance of Jean Grey, but when she uh, becomes Phoenix. And uh, it is the first appearance of Black Tom, first full appearance of Black Tom Cassidy. I was lucky enough to get the uh, Spawn Tina variant. Um, this was limited to 200, and, or excuse me, 666. I think it's pretty great. I got Web Warriors number two, the Del Auto variant, one in 25. Um, I think it's just a cool looking cover. Uh, I got Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. It's the first appearance of Luke Cage. Obviously, Diamondback, uh, Billy Bob Rackham, and Dr. Noah Bernstein. Okay. Uh, I got Fantastic Four number 48. It's the first appearance of Galactus, uh, the first cameo appearance of Silver Surfer, and it's a Jack Kirby cover. It's obviously not in the greatest condition. Uh, I picked up Iron Man number 55. It's the first appearance of Thanos, Star Fox, Drax the Destroyer, and Kronos, and the Blood Brothers. I picked up Detective Comics number, I can't remember exactly what number this one is, 359. Uh, it's the first appearance of Batgirl, well, the Barbara Gordon Batgirl, and the first Killer Moth in the Silver Age. Also a great cover. I picked up uh, Uncanny X-Men number 14. It's the first appearance of the Sentinels and Dr. Oblivia Trask, or Oblivia Trask. And finally, I picked up Journey into Mystery number 85, which is a lot of firsts. It's the first Prince of Loki, Asgard, Baldar, Heimdall, Tyr, uh, the first appearance of Odin, Cameo, and the third appearance of Thor. So, I uh, went kind of crazy over the last couple of weeks and picked up a lot of comics, a lot of keys, a lot of great covers. Uh, so, yeah, I was really excited, really happy. Um, Again, I hope everyone had a great holiday, had a great New Year's, and uh, anyway, thanks, and I'll see you next time.